Today, we're skipping the usual introductions, because what the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered is far too extraordinary to waste any time. Its latest findings are not just expanding astronomy, they're bending it, pushing the very limits of our understanding of the cosmos. Right now, Webb's observations are pushing the boundaries of astronomy itself. They're rewriting textbooks, tearing at the seams of our most trusted models of the universe. Scientists everywhere, from cosmologists to astrophysicists, are admitting that these discoveries might expose a serious flaw in the standard model of cosmology. And here's the shocking part. At the heart of this mystery lies a strange and ancient structure hidden deep in the early universe. When the images first came through, researchers could barely believe their eyes. Imagine sitting in a room full of some of the brightest scientific minds alive, people who have spent their entire lives studying the cosmos and suddenly being confronted with evidence that changes everything they thought they knew. That is exactly what happened when Webb's latest data arrived. According to the standard cosmological model, the story of the universe begins about 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. From that moment, space itself has been expanding, dragging galaxies and stars along with it. Massive objects move farther apart, and the farther away something is, the faster it seems to be racing from us. This is what we call cosmic expansion. Now here's how we measure it through something called cosmological redshift. Light traveling across billions of years gets stretched by the expansion of space, shifting into a redder and longer wavelengths. The higher the redshift, the farther away the object is, and the further back in time we are actually seeing. This means that by measuring light, we're essentially looking into the universe's history frame by frame. But there's a problem. Light from the farthest galaxies doesn't just shift into the red. It stretches so much that it falls into the infrared spectrum, invisible to human eyes. That's where the Hubble Space Telescope hit its limit. Hubble could only see ultraviolet to near-infrared light, and so the most distant galaxy it ever detected was GN-Z11, a lone faint speck from 13.4 billion years ago about 400 million years after the Big Bang. Its redshift was 10.957, and at the time, scientists believed galaxies beyond redshift 11 were either incredibly rare or didn't exist at all. Then came the James Webb Telescope. Unlike Hubble, Webb was designed with a special set of eyes built to see the invisible universe in infrared. And when it turned those eyes to the heavens, the universe revealed a completely different story. Suddenly, the cosmic darkness wasn't empty. It was filled with galaxies. Dozens of them, scattered across the deep past, shining from the earliest ages of time. What Hubble had suggested was a quiet, sparse early cosmos, Webb revealed as a bustling, crowded place, bursting with unexpected activity. And then came the bombshell. Among Webb's discoveries was a galaxy known as Glass Z13, found at a staggering redshift of 13.2. This means we're seeing it as it was just 300 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest and farthest distant galaxy ever detected. But Webb didn't stop there. Very soon, another primordial galaxy appeared in its data, one that existed only 390 million years after the Big Bang. Galaxy after galaxy began to emerge from the veil of cosmic dawn, and with every new discovery, one thing became clear. Our entire picture of the early universe was wrong. Finding such a large number of galaxies so soon after the Big Bang forces us to rethink how galaxies actually formed, explained the lead astronomer from the University of Missouri. Our observations suggest that galaxies began building themselves much earlier than we ever thought possible. What Webb has uncovered is more than just a collection of ancient galaxies. It is a direct challenge to our fundamental understanding of how the universe grew from nothing into the vast cosmic web we see today. And the deeper Webb looks, the stranger the story becomes. So, 
What exactly did astronomers find in the latest James Webb telescope images? In recent weeks, Webb has delivered one groundbreaking revelation after another, each one striking at the very foundation of how we thought galaxies formed in the wake of the Big Bang. At first, the public just wanted the breathtaking images, those dazzling snapshots of the cosmos. But then came the inevitable question, what do these pictures actually mean? What secrets are they revealing? The answers have been shocking. The first galaxies are turning out to be far stranger than scientists predicted. They grew faster, brighter, and more massive than our models could ever explain. Old theories are collapsing, and researchers are scrambling to understand why. But just as the dust began to settle, Webb struck again. The MIRI, European Consortium GTO team, announced something extraordinary, a discovery hidden within Webb's deep field surveys, an extremely red object, invisible to nearly every previous observation. The find happened almost by accident. The team was combing through Webb's latest data, searching for faint, overlooked signals. Distant objects, after all, appear faint and red because their light has been stretched across billions of years. And then, tucked away in the cosmic shadows, they spotted it. An object so red, so faint, that even the most powerful near-infrared surveys had completely missed it. Immediately, speculation began. Could this simply be a nearby star or a brown dwarf hidden behind interstellar dust? The team quickly ruled that out. This object wasn't moving, wasn't flickering, it was fixed, extended, and stable. It wasn't dust playing tricks, this was real. But what was it? The researchers put forward three possible explanations. First, maybe it was just a dwarf galaxy, four or five billion light years away, its glow muted by dust. But closer analysis made this unlikely. Second, Perhaps it was a dusty galaxy born one or two billion years after the Big Bang. Again, improbable. The data simply didn't fit. Which brings us to the third possibility, the one that electrified the scientific community. The team realized that this mysterious object bore striking similarities to Webb's newly discovered small red dot galaxies. Compact, ancient, and utterly unexpected. And then came the number that left astronomers stunned, a redshift of 15. If that's correct, we're looking at a galaxy that existed a mere 100 million years after the Big Bang. Think about that. Not 300 million years later like Glassy 13, not 390 million years later like the others. No, just 100 million years into the universe's infancy. If confirmed, this faint red dot would instantly become the oldest and most distant galaxy ever observed, a cosmic fossil from the dawn of time, sitting right at the edge of creation itself. And here's the real kicker. These tiny red dot galaxies aren't faint, fragile things. They are massive. They are luminous. They are powerful in ways that current physics says they shouldn't be. According to our models, such galaxies simply shouldn't exist so soon after the Big Bang. Yet Webb keeps finding them again and again. The discovery of these minuscule red dot galaxies has thrown cosmology into chaos. And this new candidate at Redshift 15 may be the final blow to our comfortable assumptions. Because if galaxies were already this big, this bright, and this evolved, just 100 million years after time itself began, then maybe our entire understanding of cosmic history is wrong. Webb's latest revelations are more than discoveries, they're disruptions. Galaxies appearing billions of years before they should, some as massive as the Milky Way, are tearing holes in our standard model of cosmology. According to theory, the dark matter scaffolding needed to build such giants simply hadn't formed yet, and yet, Webb keeps finding them again and again. The discovery of these minuscule red dot galaxies has thrown cosmology into chaos, and this new candidate at Redshift 15 may be the final blow to our comfortable assumptions. Because if galaxies were already this big, this bright, and this evolved just 100 million years after time itself began, then maybe our entire understanding of cosmic history is wrong. 
Webb's latest revelations are more than discoveries, they're disruptions. Galaxies appearing billions of years before they should, some as massive as the Milky Way, are tearing holes in our standard model of cosmology. According to theory, the dark matter scaffolding needed to build such giants simply hadn't formed yet. And yet, Webb shows them alive and thriving. To explain this, scientists are forced to look beyond the Big Bang itself. Some speculate about multiverses or cyclical universes. Others, like Nobel Prize winning physicist Roger Penrose, suggest a universe existed before ours, leaving behind traces that seeded these colossal early galaxies. Controversial? Absolutely. But it forces us to confront questions we've never dared to ask. What truly came before the beginning? One thing is clear. Webb has only just begun. Each image, each faint red dot is rewriting the story of creation. And the deeper it looks, the stranger and more beautiful the universe becomes. Thanks for watching this episode of Cosmos Origins. Don't forget to like and subscribe because the cosmos is only just starting to reveal its secrets.